Hey guys, welcome back to Latin Nation. Do any of you remember the iconic cult classic 80s movie Repo Man starring a young Latino named Emilio Estevez? Since then, there have been a handful of depictions, both reality and fiction, that point to the harsh realities of the famous understatement made in that movie, the life of a repo man is intense. But isn't the real question here, what kind of person actually takes on a job that is as demanding, dangerous, and full of endless drama? Operation Repo's Lou Pizarro might be able to help you understand a little bit more of what made him the right man for the job. How you doing? We're, got, we're gonna explain to you what's going on. It's a repossession. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But for Operation Repo's Lou Pizarro, what didn't kill him made him stronger, unflappable, and unstoppable. We had uh, some hard times. You know, we grew up in a school of hard knocks. My sister, Sonia, she was like our mom, man. She really was. She was very firm, and, and if we didn't do something, she's the one that gave us the cost going on. Because I could tell you, man, there's been two times in my life that if it wasn't for my sister, I'd be dead. Yeah. Lou's family may have played a role in his developing some survival tactics, but it was the next chapter of his life as a Marine where Pizarro learned to redirect his restless tendencies into an intense and demanding job that would help pay the bills. It was a very short stint. It was three years. But I got to tell you, it was the best three years of my life. After a life plagued with more trials than triumphs, it's no wonder that Pizarro was more cut out for a career as a repo man than most of his colleagues. You know, the first time I went out there to do a repossession, it was the adrenaline, man, it was awesome. And it was a lot of excitement to me. I was like, okay, I'm feeling that rush again, you know, where I'm behind a Mark 19. So uh, it was exciting, you know, so it was a different type of adrenaline rush, but it was an adrenaline rush. And the guy, you know, that hired me, uh, he was like, wow, dude, you're natural. But nobody would have guessed that the intense authenticity of his character would turn out to be so potent that it would transform this repo man into a Hollywood man. I got a call one day from Telemundo News Department, and they asked, hey, are you interested in doing a segment in a day in the life of a repo man? The next day after it airs, everywhere I went, people were recognizing me from a news segment. And after that... The former Repo Man turned Hollywood Man was able to turn out hit shows in both English and Spanish language television. But for Lou, it's his job as a family man that hits closest to home. Are you okay? Are you alright? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> the success of the show and the opportunities that it's created, it's really, really helping me with my career, my new career, my passion, which is movie making. So I'm directing independent films now. I'm producing and creating films. You know, I have, uh, uh, we have five movies that we're doing. We got a three-year deal. It's just unbelievable. I would have never guessed that I'd be in this world, but here I am today. <laughs> 